We thought we'd do a more kiwi orientated uh, snack attack this week. So what's more kiwi than American food? But we're heading to uh, Mission Bay to try Bald Eagle Diner. Diner. I've been there once, a long time ago, with Jenna Kong. It was alright, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I think they've got a more extensive menu now. The sorts of food that I remember from this place are your typical really healthy American foods like, like your burgers and your burgers and your, and your hot dogs and, and, your fried and your fried chicken and your heavy Texas chips or whatever it is with like the mints on top and oh, oh chili cheese fries yeah uh, those things Ooh. have you been there before? I've been there one time uh, just just over a year ago actually no would have been pretty much a year ago today we went there um, to recover from the hangover from my 25th birthday 25th. Um, and I was so, so hungover. This is really cute. Has anything taken your fancy in the opening three seconds of looking at the menu? There's a few things I would like to try here. Oh god. I'm pretty sure this is the Cramps. Like an actual band. This isn't just the family guy. No, no, it's an actual, yeah, no, it's yeah. an actual song. I used to yeah. listen to the Cramps in high school. <laughs> yeah, but could you do the dance again? So the chicken and waffles served with maple syrup. Question, mm. why do they do that? Because I could think of nothing worse than having a lovely piece of fried chicken with some maple syrup. Because it's sweet. It's, it's the whole salty and sweet thing. Like all cuisines have something that kind of makes it salty and sweet. Like we have, I think it's called, oh, it's not devil on horseback, but you can get prunes and wrap them in bacon. And it's like smoky, salty, sweet. Right. Or, um, you know, like when you get pancakes at a cafe and it comes with bacon on it. Yeah, but even that's a bit weird. But like maple syrup is like, extremely sweet and then having it with fried chicken is just it's like a waste there should be hot sauce or rabbit gravy but why not have you ever had rabbit gravy no have you ever actually oh, had it yes what? Geraldo thinking about your wine pairing <laughs> I didn't even know they had it and then they do yeah but it says central Otago Central Tiger produces around 3% of New Zealand red wine, apparently, according to Mount Difficulty. I trust them. There's still many vineyards, including Mount Difficulty, Felton Road, uh, The Remarkables, uh, just to name some of the top ones. In your opinion? It's common knowledge. It's oh, common yeah? Knowledge. So, to go with a chili dog, what would be your natural wine well, pairing? Well, okay, we'll go with a chili dog. It's, it's, bit insulting really. We wouldn't go with something from Central Target, maybe something from Melbourne or Australia. Okay. Like a Shiraz. So I was just wondering what wine they had from Central Target. If I found out it was like Roaring Meg, I'd be very surprised. And what would you order to go with your Roaring Meg? I have it separately. I buy some. You're such I mean, a wine star, that's I mean, unreal. Maybe like a maybe like Southern style chicken burger or Mama's burger. In really? I don't know. That's a bit silly to be honest. Jerry likes to think he's not a wine snob, but I have never met someone in my life who is more snobby about wine. And he has very limited knowledge, it's the cutest thing ever. So I asked which winery the uh, Central Targapino came from. Turns out it's actually from Mission Estate, which <laughs> is actually in Hawke's Bay, <laughs> which I don't see on here. They've just got Sav. Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot Gris, Merlot, then Central Tiger, Pinot, Rosé, then Brancot, Brew, Curve Piccolo. That was a cab set. So I'm just like, I'm hoping their food isn't like their wine selection, meaning messy as fuck. I honestly don't think people come here expecting the wine list to be top notch. 
Uh, it's a diner. Uh, this place is super cute. I actually really like it. Yeah, I knew you would. It's colourful. Mm. Like it almost reminds me of that diner out of Pulp Fiction, except we're not sitting in cars. We're not sitting in there, it's like half cut fucking convertibles. Mm. And we're not waiting on by. Um, and we're not gonna grow up and nearly kill ourselves by snorting heroin. Well, I'm not. I might. God, chili cheese fries just arriving. Ooh. That to me just screams American. Yeah, the processed cheese. What do they processed call this over here? Cheese whiz? Cheese whiz. So. The, the mince. Is it your bacon? No. Oh. The chicken and waffles. Chicken and weird. See, Sorry. I just don't get it. No. Oh no. I ruined it. Oh no. <laughs> I hurt myself, I hit myself really hard. Oh, you're making a fucking mess, eh? Try a real cheesy one. The cheese was? It's actually not there. Of course. Mm. Of course, I like the thing that's so horrendous for you. It's quite nice. Is this camera on me? Yeah. It's a really good angle, too. It's good. <laughs> Let's go for a double fry. Hey, one up the nose can. They're horrendously good. Of course I like them. It's got three of my favourite food groups in there. It's got cheese, it's got fries, and it's got meat. Ooh. I can feel my heart health improving by the second. No, they're actually just really good fries. Nice and crispy on the outside, nice and floury on the inside. I was actually quite surprised at how crispy they were given that the meat's on top of that meat juice. is just softening them right up, but it's still quite crispy. Vernas. They're actually really nice. Sorry? Those waffles look really good. Can you move the camera? Oh, this insta slash. Hey. <laughs> well, my chicken burger just arrived. That is a lot of lettuce. I'm gonna have to cut that in half and eat it bit by bit. The same way I eat a McChicken, actually. Now, right. I used to work in a cafe yeah. where we had a waffle house. Oh my god, yeah. So, I know good waffles, and they smell good. smile coming across your face. It doesn't seem natural, but it's right. Are you crying? No. I'm very emotional. Fuck, that's good. Is it really good? It's good. So this is like spicy and sweet. It is spicy as well. Yeah, so you know like um, sweet chili sauce? Yep. That kind of deal. The chicken is nice and juicy. It's tender. It's spiced. And then with the maple syrup on top, has that kind of like um, flavor profile that sweet chili sauce has. Okay, I see what you mean with the sweet chili sauce, 100%. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's different to what I thought it was going to be. That is actually nice. I, just, I don't think that's normal maple syrup. That's not, that's not overly sweet. It won't be like authentic maple syrup, but it'll be maple flavoured syrup. Right. Mm. But no, that's actually very good. It's very nice. It's good, right? I don't know how much of it I could eat. Because of being yeah, but you wouldn't, uh, you could, that's why I like that they put the syrup in a jug yeah. so you can actually put on how much you like. It's definitely not a pizza. Mm, it's, it's, it's good. So it looks like it's two of your tenders in there with half a veggie patch of lettuce, some, to, some tomato. <laughs> oh. You are making a mess. The chicken here is very misleading. It looks, that your one especially looks dry. I had a look at this one, it looked pretty dry. It is so good. It's so tender. It's so flavorful. That mayonnaise, I don't know what it is. It's almost like a Chipotle sauce or Southwest if you've been to Subway. As you can see, it's kind of drenched in it. And <laughs> oh. You can, you can tell dry chicken just by looking at them inside. It's tender as shit. Do you know why it's tender? No. Because of the buttermilk. They marinate it in buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good. Maybe they, maybe they know who we are. All our 10 fans. That we're oh, famous. It's big time. <laughs> it's really good. It's nice as hell, eh? It's so good. I'm pretty sure. It's a brioche bun as well. What's brioche? It's a type of bread that's like quite rich, has quite a lot of butter in it. Yeah. Oh, with the really brown tops? Mm. Oh, yeah. 
even though it looks a mess and it's hard to hold, it stays together quite well. Mm. And oh, that taste is crazy. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, well done. Well done, guys. Well done. Alright, so that's us done. Uh, all up it was uh, $54, $52, $54. So for two mains and some chips. Something to uh, yeah. It was like medium pricing. Medium pricing, yeah, a little bit, a little bit on the expensive side. Yeah, but, but it's good. It is good, and especially for the amount that you should be eating it, yeah. it's good. When you said that price in my head I thought a little bit pricey, but I wasn't mad about it. Yeah, I'm not overly mad about mm. it because man, that chicken was good. That was good. good as fuck. There's a couple of other things I wouldn't have mind trying as well. Like what? Uh, like the pulled pork burger mm. or the uh, chicken wings. So if you guys go there and try those things, let us know how they taste. So um, how many? Ooh, hey. uh, ten. Would you give that place? Ten and a half. I enjoyed Good that cool. thoroughly. I'm cycling between 9 and 10, but I'm just going to straight up give them a 10 because the food was that good. The only reason why I'd cycle would be because of um, the price, mm. but it was, it was worth it. It was so good. Service was good. Staff were really nice. Yeah. And the food was fucking mint. So well done, Bald Eagle Diner. And that's us for this week. Um, what we'll do is we're going to post, um, because obviously making and editing these videos does take up a bit of time it's a bit harder to do so we'll post videos as much as we can but we're still going to post like uh, photos of places that we go how uh, we go out uh, it's a lot easier to do that sort of stuff so if you guys go certain places as well take photos let us know send send us your photos and we'll go off and try um Some snacks. try your snacks uh next week not sure where we're going but i have a funny feeling that my cousin dante is going to be joining us apparently he's a Big fan of the show, but it's us. Oh, oh.